Hi guys. Um. Hi, I'm Willem Tyler. Um, hey guys. Um, oof. Hi, baddies of the world, and welcome back. William Well Tyler, singer, songwriter, actor, dancer, model, and activist, producer. I don't know if you know that commercial, it's on um, Best of Kinder. <laughs> Wouldn't candles be nice for gay stuff? <laughs> so come visit. And we also make candles now. Wouldn't a candle be nice for gay stuff? Queen, the girl that did that. So. I've been busy. Losing friends, um, working on an EP, um, getting a flu, graduating. Planning a photo shoot for the EP. Planning something for my graduation. Planning an album release kind of party shindig. It's not like a party, but something like that. And financing all this. It's not cute. Um, but today is the final day. Oh my god. It's it's. Oh my god. It's. Um. Look at my busted ass phone, but it's the date. Can you see the date? The date is Tuesday, 8th of June. And I'm so excited. It's the 8th of June, 2021. It's Tuesday. And I'm about to record my final song. My producer is literally on the way. He was supposed to be here by 2.30. It's 2.57. Um... So he's coming to my apartment and we're gonna film. I'm gonna listen to the five tracks that he did. I've not heard them, so you guys are gonna see me hear them for the first time. Um, and if I don't like anything, uh, I can make tweaks right now or that's what I do before I get the final stuff. Um, and then I'm recording the final song today. Um, a bit nervous. I got the song on Friday, which was, today is the eighth, it's Tuesday, do the math. I got it on Friday. And I listened to it, um, didn't do anything about it, made a mental note, I was going to come back to it, didn't come back to it all weekend, um, had something to do on Tuesday, Monday, so I uh, postponed our meeting that was supposed to be wrong for Monday to Tuesday, and yeah, I wrote the song last night, between 12 and 1.45, I think I finished like around 1.45, um, I already had the course, um, but what I did with the song now, what you'll hear, is not what I wanted to do with the song when I first started. So it kind of is like a change, but I like it, you know? Um, so, yeah, I just hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the work I've been putting in. I hope you like the EP um, and you like, you know, the parts that you like. It's okay if you don't like the whole project. But just thanks for supporting, thanks for sharing, thanks for... You know, just putting the word out there. Thanks for telling your friends, your friends, friends, your family. Like, it's really appreciated. Um, yeah, so I'm going to rehearse now before he comes. literally going to tell me he's on his way. And then I'm going to rehearse a little and then we're going to do it. The final day. Oh, my God. Um, hearing my music for the first time was first very strange. It's an out-of-body experience, to be honest. Like, as an artist and as a person, just in general, making music is so personal to you and you write it down, you write all your feelings down on a piece of paper and saying it out loud to the world is very vulnerable and I was very shy, I didn't know how to sound, I didn't know if like, you know, the soft way is gonna make me sound crazy. I wanted people to hear my voice and really authentically hear me and I wanted to make sure I was enunciating everything clearly. I put myself under a lot of pressure sometimes to make sure that I do do the best in the job I can you know like I'll give it my all so it was just like 
a test, you know, or like taking a test. I was extremely nervous. As you can see, my face, I'm all flustered. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like sometimes you also feel like, if, like when you hear maybe something you don't like, um, which I did hear a few things that needed also some changing. I was like, am I doing the right thing? You know, there's also a lot of questions because I feel like I'm a hardest critic and it was so, 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 so gut-wrenching. But at the end of the day, it's also beautiful and it relaxes you and you understand it more and you can feel the passion that you put into the project come out through the audios. So I would say it's a bit of both. Well, Raphael is actually a very talented producer, let's start there. Um, he's good at what he does and he helped convey the first half of my vision very well. Um, I met him through my cousin, he put us in a WhatsApp group chat together and my cousin was busy with other stuff so I took initiative and was like Raphael we should meet up, we should definitely do this and I set a date and we met up and I had all my songs written down actually on like a piece of paper so my recording process is kind of like I will record audio clips on my phone and I then I will write to the beat and then I'll do the audio clips and write and do it like that and then do the whole thing at the end and then I'll have the song and then I'll sing the song to the audio so basically gave him like this half finished type of project and I was like okay this is what I want it to sound like and can you produce beats for that and that was where the issue actually initially started because I feel like he said he could deliver on the production for those specific songs because I started the project honestly with different songs you know like the entire project changed itself you know when I started doing this two years ago when I reached out to Raphael the project was not what it sounds like right now there was different songs on it that I'll definitely still use and definitely remake and make better because there was growth that needed to happen in that process and with that production it was not the best so we decided to add on to it but Party was definitely one of the initial songs and we worked on Party, we wrote it but I loved, what I loved about him, he was willing and he was consistent and he was set and we'll talk about these things and he will do them with me you know but what I also didn't like was at some point towards the end of the project I heard everything and I had now my final details and changes that I wanted to make and I wanted to do two rewrites so I was going to rewrite two entire songs and then I wanted to get another beat, a new beat for a specific song. I was going to pay additional for the new beat but then the other one I just wanted to scrap all my lyrics, scrap everything, use the same beat but then just rewrite the song. Party got a bit of a rewrite and it was also I wrote to You Me Over Everything. That's a rewrite from another song. And the other song I scrapped the beat completely. I couldn't work with it. So in that process Raphael was not like because it was towards the end of our project and he had received payment already. Raphael was not willing to meet up anymore. He didn't want to like meet when I wanted to meet. There was always an excuse. He took a trip to South Africa. He said for a very long time and I was waiting patiently and a month went by and I think another month went by and I paid him already. So I was like, no, I have to release this project and I can't do it without you and I need to finish the song so basically it needs to be three songs so I only had half of the project done with the two rewrites plus a new beat for the new song so I was like I can't even write anything if you don't send me something at least while you're in South Africa send me a beat so I could write for that song and then have everything ready and then when you come we just record we were on the same page about those things but then I think he was not being honest 100% about the situation but I can't tell I don't have any proof right now whether he went and decided okay no I don't think this is the best partnership and I decided to end it because he didn't want to help me and I moved on and that's how I met David from the facade and David from the facade took those beats that I did buy from Rafael by the way and Red gal, not only are you gonna be that gal mm -hmm. that's gonna get everything that baby wanted, mm -hmm. all the hopes and dreams, mm -hmm. and now you're telling me you want to step closer? <laughs> I am one step closer, and I'd like to thank the institution NAST itself for awarding me with this honor that I've worked hard for 
my blood, sweat and tears went into this degree, literally. And I'm so happy to say that I finally did it. I accomplished it for myself and to show just the community that it is possible. Um, with this degree, I have a lot of future plans still coming and I feel as if I did not expect to um, have it so soon with how it was going, but everything worked out in the end of the day. And I'm so excited and I just want to tell you guys that I love you and thank you and please young black child study hard and it is possible for you to also obtain yourself a degree to many more blessings in the future. Thank you for all your support and your kind words. Love you. Bye. Um, anxious, excited, but ready for it. Give me more class. Make my night see you doing a lot of work right now. The things we do for love, right? Behind the scenes, go. <laughs> That's me. Yes. <laughs> She's done so much. Well, she did my nails, by the way. She's a nail tech makeup artist. Oh. So you can also hit her up. Nails. So uh, my business name is Ingo Legit. Okay. My surname is Ingo, so I've always wanted to be a legit person in life. Okay. So basically, I put that one and two together and became Ingo Legit. Yes. But I was a rebranding. I only rebranded like the last year. Hmm. Because beginning I was legit. Okay. You guys want me to go deep now, because if I go deep, one thing is something. Go deep. deep! No, no, okay. You, you can just tell us about um, what made you decide to be a photographer and what do you love about taking pictures yeah. of artists like me? Like, oh, generally, just, or like, just making everybody look pictures? beautiful because yeah. your page your makes goal? everybody is look it about beautiful. Looking, making everyone look good? Is it about the quality of the picture? Yeah. Is it about the overall image? You know what? What is what is your love for photography? Yeah, Where does it come from? What is your love for photography? Let's yes, start man. there. The funny part is when I started, mm -hmm. I was just looking for fame because first my manager was doing, it, and then I saw how a little fame he got, and a side cash he got, and I was like, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I started mostly, and then I think it just took me a year, and then I fell in love with him. So now, reason being why I shoot is now. I'm a low self-esteem person. Huh. Very much. Okay. Guys, I won't tell, I won't lie to you. As much as you say this person look good, this one is good looking, people uh -huh. have problems they are fighting at home. Yeah. And these problems are the it's ones so that kind of uh -huh. play a part on how they think they look like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know you think you look good, but somehow, somewhere, uh, there's like a boy that says you're still Oh, no, good obviously. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. so now, my, my, I, I try to bring out the beauty in you so I can really show you that. This is exactly. your worth. Yeah, this and this worth remains forever. Exactly. But every time you feel down, look at your pictures, baby. Shit. Don't tell you so that's amazing. Basically Thank you. That was fucking amazing. Thank you, in, uh, Andrew. You killed it. And that's it from the shoot today. You guys are going to see the rest of the video up online. So peace. Peace, homie. Good work. Peace. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're trying out some looks and this is one of the looks that we came up with so we still have to speak to the creative director. What do you think of the look? Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> sure. I feel like the look is very sexy. Yeah. Very out there. Free, yeah. We just have to add the pasties, of course, yeah. yeah. Just to get that Jenna Jackson vibe in, you know. Yeah, but we're here. Love it.
So with this we started decided to go with a green look. This green number, I really love it myself. Okay, that's the full look. I love it. I really love it. <laughs> the pants are gap, of course. And oh, it's a little bit of accessorizing that we need to do with this look. But yeah, Marvel. Just need a little more time.